Good morning, YouTubers. Tuxedo Martini coming to you live and direct from Woburn, Massachusetts. Uh, this will be my first PSA submission video. Um, I've got an order in right now, uh, around 50 cards. And um, as you can see, I've put out some of my favorites in terms of what I own right now, and it kind of gives you an idea of what I like to collect. So on the left there, we've got a uh, PSA 8 2000 Pacific Tom Brady. I uh, got it as a Christmas present this year for my best friend and a uh, guy who's uh, best man at my wedding. Uh, then we've got a 1974 Mike Schmidt, uh, near mint 7 from PSA. Uh, that's his second year card. Mike Schmidt was my favorite player growing up. Um, I grew up in Pennsylvania, probably like an hour and a half north of Philly. And uh, I've got probably a good 10 or so in my submission coming up. So that'll be for my next video. And finally, uh, I also like to collect vintage. So I've got a uh, PSA 6, Warren Spahn from 1956 tops there. Uh, Spahn's one of my favorite players just with his Boston connection. I live right outside of Boston. So um, I hope to continue my uh, collection of the Spahns going forward. I think I've got now two of them, including um, one of the later Fleers. Okay, so without further ado, here are some of my mail day pickups from the past few months. So I just wanted to share some of those with you. And uh, again, this is my first video, so hopefully uh, everything goes smoothly. I'm kind of testing out how everything's gonna look. I've got an iPhone 8 that I'm recording on, so uh, here we go. All right, so first up is a 1999 Bowman's Best Roy Holiday Rookie Gem Mint 10. Uh, I literally picked this up uh, maybe 15 minutes after I found out he passed away in a in a horrible plane crash. Uh, was no wasn't a card I owned uh, of any Roy Holidays uh, that were graded previously, so I was glad to add that to my collection. And uh, rest in peace, Roy. Next up, I'm going uh, mainly vintage from here on out. So that was one of my only. Uh, recent modern cards. I also picked up a David Ortiz rookie too. Uh, I'm not sharing with you today on camera. But next up is a 1961 Topps Ernie Banks MVP card. Uh, near mint 7, but uh, unfortunately it's a little miscut. Alright, sticking with uh, uh, little 50s now. We've got a 1959 Topps Gene Stevens. Uh, Boston Red Sox player at near mint seven. Uh, I definitely collect a ton of Red Sox. That is now my favorite team, along with obviously with the Patriots and Tom Brady. So uh, if anybody's got anything to share with me, I collect uh, commons, uh, stars, you name it. I will take a look at it. All right, so not really a modern card, but uh, still one of my favorites. And it's probably one of the um, more uh, 70s uh, sets that I like to collect is the 1975 Tops. This is a Bob Gibson and a near mint 7. Pretty looking, good looking card there, well centered. So I've got this one here. This is a no name player, Glenn Borgman, another 1975 Tops, uh, an excellent 5. So I don't know how. Well, you can see this uh, in terms of the corners and everything. It almost looks perfect, and I can see why somebody would have submitted it to PSA because they were probably expecting at least a 7, if not an 8, out of this card. Well, I had um, in a Facebook PSA group, and I had a thread one night called Guess the Grade of this card, and probably 20 responses in, nobody got the grade. Either people were too high or too low, um, but what we figured out was that uh, there is a scratch here on the upper right. Um, it's kind of hard to see even with the naked eye, but if I got the looper, I was definitely able to spot it. Um, it was probably a uh, crease as well. Uh, so this really considerably dropped. So next up, we've got a 1974 Topps Joe Morgan. Uh, fairly cheap card, uh, comes in a near mint seven. I was happy to find it. I got a good deal on eBay for this. I know he gets ripped on a lot as an announcer, but I tended to like him uh, when he was on Sunday Night Baseball, and uh, I kind of missed the guy, so um, had to honor him somehow with a, grabbing one of his uh, cards here. So this one here, not really anybody known, 
but I was just happy to get it a, you know, card from the 60s in a 9. So it's a mint 9, uh, 1968 rookie stars, Dale Leonard and Dave May. So, uh, uh, like I said, I like to collect commons uh, as long as they're high grade. Uh, it doesn't really matter who they are. I uh, want to continue adding these kinds of cards to my collection. Next up, 1956, Chico Carrasco, uh, near mint seven, but it is miscut. Uh, I love the 56 top set. Uh, I'm trying to grab as many as I can along with the 55s. They are starting to get very pricey and um, I'm just happy to find anything in a seven or above. And I also got a good deal on this card, so I couldn't pass it up. Going backwards just a little bit. I think I will continue to go backwards through the rest of the remaining cards here. Uh, this is a 1954 Bowman Jack Dittmer. Uh, very good three. Centering was great. Um, I didn't see a lot wrong with this card. We'll flip it over here on the back. So it's in pretty good shape. Uh, and I was happy with it from the pictures and just figured I'd grab it. I don't think I owned any 54 Bowman uh, at the time. Uh, a few months back when I grabbed this, I have picked up a few um, ungraded cards, commons, at my uh, local card show the last few weeks. And obviously, everybody's either famous set or most famous set of all is the 1952 Tops. Now, I'm going to grab as many of these as I can um, when I can find my good deal. I know there are a ton of bidders out there looking to do the same, so, um, you know, I'll get them here and there. I now only own, like, five 1952 Tops cards in general, but uh, I didn't own any as of, like, September. So, slowly but surely, I will continue to add these to my collection. And this is here, a 1952 Tops Jim Wilson. I'm actually surprised it wasn't uh, a miscut, but since it was graded so poorly already uh, they probably didn't put a qualifier on it so uh, yeah happy with that purchase and finally another one of my 52 tops Clyde McCullough uh, 1.5 and uh, you can see the the dents in the corners there so uh, it's definitely graded properly uh, I don't really care what kind of grade I get in these cards as long as I own them uh, I'll have them in my collection for a long, long time. So, everybody, thanks for watching. I uh, hope to put out many videos in the future. And uh, if you like this, please subscribe, uh, like my videos, and uh, as soon as I get my PSA submission in, which will probably be right around Super Bowl time, hoping that Brady is in, and uh, I can show off uh, the collection um, uh, that we've, we've got going on of Brady's. I put in with two other guys for a total of 100 101 cards I believe we put in and I think a quarter of them are either Brady's or like Rob Gronkowski so uh, really hoping to share that video with you in the future and uh, stay tuned thanks so much for watching